Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. It is happening now. Article is on the plea begging Nigerians. You might be wondering, probably is begging Nigerians to vote for him coming 2023 election. But to my greatest surprise, you can see that article is begging Nigerians not for anything but for Nigerians to please allow him make correction saying that pdp party made mistakes in office he said allow us to correct them that is what the presidential candidates of the people's democratic party article says as he continues to beg nigerians according to the full details of the news the presidential candidate of the people's democratic party pdp article abubakar has admitted that his party made mistakes in Nigeria while it was at the helm of affairs in the country. Ateko noted that he was still in talks with aggrieved members of the PDP to resolve the lingering crisis ranking the party. The former vice president stated this in Gombe shortly after opening a campaign office donated to him by chieftain of the party in the states, Jamilu Isiyaku Guanan. He expressed confidence that the crisis rocking the party will be resolved and that the PDP would go into the 2023 election stronger. Ateko said, the PDP is still very popular and as the oldest party in Nigeria, it stands the chance to win the 2023 presidential election. We have realized that we have made mistakes and we are working to correct those mistakes and we believe that Nigerians have trust in us. Nigerians can compare our performances and the performance of our opponents and the difference is clear and our records can speak for us, Atiku said. Guana donated the campaign office located opposite the deputy governor's office to serve as a platform for Atiku and all PDP candidates in the forthcoming general elections. A gubernatorial aspirant, Guanan lost the ticket to Muhammad Jibril Bad, the PDP governorship candidate in the state. The Lee Trust reports that the gubernatorial candidate, the state PDP chairman, Audu, Kwakibe, and other executives of the party were absent at the opening of the campaign office. What is your take to this? The fact remains that Atiko admits that the People's Democratic Party made mistakes while they were at the helm of affairs, and now Atiko is pleading for Nigerians to allow us make you know amendments he said allow us to correct them since our party have made mistakes we have come to correct all these mistakes now the question is as a good citizen of nigeria would you allow or would you vote for another pdp candidate to correct those mistakes made by the former PDP presidential candidate we have had back in those days. Just like Atiko have said that he knows PDP already made mistakes and he said that he was still in talk with aggrieved members of the party to resolve the lingering crisis rocking the party. Who would like you to let us know your own take on this? We would like you to share those with us via the comment section on what has been said 
Atiku on the play to allow Nigerians vote for him again to correct mistakes that has been made by former PDP presidential candidates we've had. We would like you to let us know your own take on this, but before we go, let's be put reactions to this. If I and Brian reacted to this and said, Never again, which mistake is Atiku talking about? Is it the mistake of another corruption spray of National Party officials collecting 32 million era each as house allowances with all the hardship Nigerians are going through? PDP and Atiku should forget it. That is what has been said by Ifine Brian that even if he himself have the opportunity to bring Atiku, you know, as the president of Nigeria, without anybody's help, he has the power to do it. He will not, because I don't know the mistakes Atiku is talking about. Is it the mistake of another corruption spree of the National Party officials collecting over 32 million naira each as house allowances with all the hardship Nigerians are going through? What is your take to this? Who would like you to share your own point of view with us? On this that has been said you join APC to pull PDP down now we have better alternative in Peter Obi Labour Party Atiku rest in peace UN PDP another reaction from Chimachuku who have said that we cannot vote for Atiku again because this same person joined APC to pull down the PDP now we have a better alternative in the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and you are here pleading. In fact, go and rest in peace. That is what Chima have said to Atiku and PDP. Kolak Bolo Atosin have also reacted to this and said, God forbid, if Labour Party, knowing, make APC continue for another four years because it's easy to send Tinubu out of another southern you know with another southern candidate after four years but if you win as another fallen in northern president by fire by force you go use eight years obviously pdp is not ready because if you are ready you will zoom to south and will sort your party problem easily this is another reaction from kolakpo oloato since saying that pdp is not ready that is why they've zoned their own tickets to the northern part and not the southern part. And that is the reason why the lingering PDP crisis have continued because they are not ready. If they are ready, they would have sorted their party problems easily. What is your take to this? It is easy to get rid of Tunubu after four years. But if Atiko should become the next president of Nigeria, then he will make sure he used a complete eight years. What is your take to this? Who would like to let us know your own point of view to these different reactions from different people who don't forget that PDP party made mistakes in office. Allow us to correct them. That's what the presidential candidate Atiko have said as he continues to beg Nigerians. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.